Hello everyone, in this video I want to talk about something that I think will have a huge impact on makers starting from the 1st of January of next year. So this post from a lector showed up on my Twitter feed this morning and they talk about the fact that the 22 euro limit is going to be abolished. While in the EU, if you buy something from outside of the EU and the value of the goods are over 22 euro, you're liable to pay VAT on it. Anything under 22 euro is just exempt. It's probably just not worth their time collecting the money. So you just, they don't. What is the value of a good? Well, it's how much you paid for it plus how much you paid for shipping as well. So if the if you bought something for 10 euro but the shipping was 15 euro, technically that is over the 22 euro limit so you are liable for VAT. But what this article is saying is that 22 euro limit is going to go away on the 1st of January 2021. So I don't really know how this is going to play out. Basically there isn't any information of how this new structure is going to work. So we can only kind of speculate on how it will work. I can explain how the current system works and how if that's applied to how we do it at the moment in terms of buying stuff that's under the 22 euro limit, then it's going to cause massive effects to how we buy things from AliExpress or eBay or anywhere from outside the EU basically. So at the moment if I buy something that's over the 22 euro limit, so say just to make the sums really simple we'll say I buy something that's 100 euro. So what happens with that then is I'm liable for VAT on that because it's over the 22 euro and VAT in Ireland is 23%. So there's 23 euro on top of the original 100 that the product in the shipping cost me. But then on top of that as well, the, the courier or postal service coming in actually pays the VAT on your behalf and then charges you normally before you get the product. So they'll send you an email or whatever to say, hey, that 23 euro in VAT, we've paid that for you, but now you owe us that 23 euro plus you owe us an administration fee for dealing with this. So for Ireland, it's actually quite reasonable compared to other places. I'll pop up some graphics of it now. But in Ireland, the postal service is 10 euro to process this VAT fee. And then DHL, I think is 16 euro, but that's quite reasonable compared to other places such as Greece, which was over a hundred euro for DHL, which is crazy. On a 100 euro order, a charge of an additional 10 euro isn't actually that bad because it's 10% of the value of the goods. But the problem is the lower the value of the goods, if that fee is still applied, it's going to make it really unappealing to buy from places. For example, if you buy a 1 euro product, is that also liable for that 10 euro fee? Like the VAT is going to be 23 cent. Are you going to be liable for that 10 euro fee? So this one euro product is now going to cost you 11 euro 23. I don't know. It's not clear from the elector page or the underlying uh, EU documentation that they're pointing to. Ireland currently has a rule where they won't bother charging tax if what they're about to collect is less than 6 euro. Which is actually kind of funny because it effectively raises that 22 euro to something a little bit higher. I'll probably put it on screen there. But who knows if that's staying or going either. If it's staying in place, then there will be no impact to people in Ireland. But you can't imagine it will stay. There is talks about how this will probably just get charged at the vendor's side in terms of you will pay an additional VAT fee to who you're buying it off and they look after it for you. I would be very concerned how that will work out in terms of possibly for bigger vendors such as JLC or somewhere like that. Speaking of JLC, this video is sponsored by no one. Because the EU is such a big market, it's probably in their interest to sort something like this out. But for something like AliExpress, where it's not, you're not buying off AliExpress, you're buying off an individual seller. 
I don't know how that's going to work out for them. Does this mean that you can't buy these one euro things from AliExpress anymore? I actually don't know. Uh, maybe, maybe not, who knows. From a Tindy seller point of view, it's hard to actually know how this will play out in terms of if it's good news or bad news or what the story is with it. So a lot of the times when I'm ordering for Tindy, I'm buying in larger quantities anyways. So it's over that 22 euro. So I was already liable for VAT on it. So that's fine. Then there is also the thing, I don't know how it works everywhere, but in Ireland, you can sell things without VAT on them up to a certain amount. So if you sell, I think it's like 35,000 euro worth of goods or something, and I'm, I'm nowhere near that. At the moment, I'm not VAT registered when I'm selling things through Tindy, but if I, if I wanted to VAT register, so I would have to charge VAT to people who buy my stuff from EU, or I'd have to pay the VAT for them. Someone would have to pay the VAT on the on the goods that I sell on Tindy. But I would get to claim back the VAT on anything I paid to assemble that. So basically, VAT is kind of charged on the last leg of the of the transaction and is claimed back further up up the line. I guess it also like it. it if you sold a board or whatever that you designed and you're shipping it from the EU and the cheap boards from AliExpress are now like, you know, subject to these import fees, I guess that's beneficial for a Tindy seller, possibly. Like I can see how that would work out for people. I, I don't think I sell much that's really in direct competition with something you can buy from AliExpress. So I don't know if it'll be a big benefit for me in a Tindy point of view, I, I don't think so. It probably isn't a big cost for me either because of what I mentioned about buying the bigger bulk orders. From what I saw from people's reactions on Twitter, paying VAT on the product was not an issue for anybody. As, as I mentioned, the VAT rate in Ireland is about 23%. It's lower in other places. I think in Germany, it's 19%. Possibly the same in the UK as well, I'm not 100% sure. But it's that fee that's the problem for most people. If it just gets pushed to you're just paying the VAT fee to AliExpress and there's no additional courier fees or postal service fees, I don't think there'll be any problem with this and people will be happy enough to take it. But we don't know at the moment which way it'll go. And that's it for this video. I know it's not my usual style of one, but it was just something that I saw this morning and I thought this could potentially have a huge impact on makers in the EU. And I thought it'd be worth sharing, maybe discussing in the comments below, or if you want to talk on my Discord, that's another good place to talk. And yeah, thanks for watching. Just want to say a huge thanks to my GitHub sponsors for helping support the channel, and I'll talk to you next time.